G'day and thanks for joining me. I'm Fainley Saintly and today we're looking at a game called Mech Tech. Now full disclosure, I did receive a free review copy of this game from Keymailer.co so thank you to Keymailer and the developer Sam Connor for making this possible. So this game caught my eye because at first glance it did appear to be a bit of a combination of games like Advance Wars and a game I recently played through on Steam called Buggos which I definitely recommend and a classic freeway game that I used to love over 20 years ago now called Triumph War 2099. So it combines a bit of strategy, a bit of action, and some auto battler RTS elements. And uh, games like this really appeal to me, so really excited to dive in and check it out. Now, if you like the look of this game, I will have a link to the Steam page in the description where you can wishlist and check out the demo for yourself. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing, because that helps me out a lot. All right, let's get into it. So the game did recommend uh, using a controller. So that's what I'm going to be doing, and I'll be starting with the tutorial here. We're going to choose your mech. Now, I don't know what this sounds like, but I think I've got two different soundtracks overlapping at the moment. So a little bug there, maybe. We have the red team auto cannon or the shotgun. Ah, okay, so these are different pilots with different stats and difficulties. Just for the tutorial, I'm gonna start with uh, this basic character. Advisor. Mech team, do you read me? We're under attack. The blue army is all over us. We need your help. Head east and link up with our command tank. Okay, yep, so typical top down, up down left right movement, move with the left stick, aim and auto shoot with right stick, and shoot with right trigger. Okay, simple enough. Very cool. I like that music actually. And uh, yeah, you can see the Advance War sort of, uh, well, maybe not inspiration, but it certainly reminds me of it, the color palette. What have we got up here? Looks like a repair. Oh, left to dash, left trigger, there we go. I'm directing some nearby friendlies to you. Many friendly troops will carry items you can use. Grab the item by holding left trigger. A full list of controls can be viewed in the pause menu, okay. I um, just want to get rid of this guy. So give me that item. Left trigger, was it? Okay. <laughs> so I picked up a big sword. I think it's only a one-time use. Seemed pretty powerful, though. A little uh, spider drone bot things. Micro missiles, right button. Oh, righto. Nice little secondary there. Looks like they home in. Let's try that again. Yeah, nice. What's happening at the top there? There's a flamethrower killing all those drones. That's pretty cool. It's obviously some uh, unit variety. What have we got here? Someone in another mech suit. Okay. Wait, don't go any further. That enemy tower is too dangerous to fight alone. Your mech is nimble but lacking in armor. Wait for this battering ram to engage the tower, then follow it in. Let me go first. And take my item. Oh. Is that a spear? Alright, I'll let you draw the fire and then I'll spear the tower. There we go. Shoot some missiles. Done. Our command tank is up ahead. Use it to send our troops into battle. Only one mech can be in the command tank at a time. Hold left trigger to enter the command tank. You can also exit by holding left trigger. So this did seem to have a focus on uh, multiplayer. I think there was, was it up to four or up to eight? Like maybe four player co-op, eight player uh, battle mode as well. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, Alright, so I'm not driving, I'm controlling the command cursor while I'm in this. Command cards. Okay, so this is where the deck builder elements come in. I've always got some cards drawn down the bottom there that are assigned to buttons. Now that you're inside the command tank, you're the commander. As the commander, you control the command cursor. You can deploy our troops to the battlefield by playing cards. You can see four of your cards on the HUD below. Each of your face buttons corresponds to a card in your hand. Cards require energy to play. You can see the cost in the upper right corner of each card. I see. So there is another one of those um, tanks there. 
that costs six energy and I've got 10 energy. Okay. And I think that little gray icon on the bottom is the next card to come up. So I'm guessing that replaces one that I pick, but we'll see. You can see our energy bar and the enemy's energy bar below. Troop cards can only be played on our side of the field. When a mech is inside the command tank, our energy will replenish over time. Try playing some cards now. All right, let's test it out. I'm gonna put down a battering ram. And yes, it was replaced by some basic troops. So I'm gonna put some of these down just to back him up. And uh, oh, was that a rocket? Can I shoot the rocket? Oh, need to defend this. That didn't work. We've got the brawler out there. So I could get out and fight myself or I can sit back, generate energy and uh, let my troops do the fighting. Looks like the battering ram is taking out these towers pretty well. Beautiful. I'm detecting an enemy command tank up ahead. Okay, so they get one of these too. It will deploy its own troops to attack you. Be careful. Okay, so I guess that's maybe where the, the MOBA RTS sort of combination will kick in. And remember, this is just the initial tutorial, so it's just teaching me the elements. Mech. About time you showed up. My mech is getting pretty damaged. I'll need you to swap places with me. Hop out of the command tank so I can get inside and repair my mech. Okay. Let's hop out. Cool, we jump out. There's Mac, he's going in. Oh, they're shooting rockets at me. Your mech is damaged again. Get back into the command tank and I'll hop out. If your mech is destroyed, you have to wait during a res respawn timer. So don't let it get destroyed. Even worse, every time you're destroyed, your respawn timer gets a little longer. Okay, so I'm taking a spot there, buddy. I'm gonna heal. I think that's the green bar in the bottom left. Looks about right, so I'm gonna hop out now. And uh, hopefully stop this guy from destroying us. Uh, I'm going to hop back in now. Looks like the CPU was actually summoning units for me, which is nice. So it's not completely wasted if I'm not in there. And can I shoot? Yes, I can shoot missiles over the border, which is nice. Ooh, they've got a uh, battering ram pretty close there. Hopefully these two guys can deal with it. I'll get them some backup as quickly as I can. Ah, oh, we've already destroyed that command tank. Oh, that was loud. Um, oh, okay, that's it. So, tutorial over. We have eight player battles. We have battle mode, one to four players. We have campaign mode, one to four. So, yeah, leaning into the local co-op, which uh, is good. That's, that's a bit neglected these days. So it's good to see it included. Let's jump in and have a look. So again, this is a preview build. So this is probably based on the demo. It's not gonna have the full content and things will change over time. Choose your mech, the Mark I. First rifle, mini mines. I'm reading you group 47. The blue army has invaded. They're jamming our comms, we're in disarray. Standing orders are to head east and repel the invaders. Did this just get very loud? Just gonna pause for a sec. Just thought I'd uh, turn that down a notch. Advance towards the border and push them back. Good luck, Group 47. 180 miles to blue border. Choose a card. We've got a drone up here. Choose a rocket trooper or an infantry. They both cost two energy. Rocket troopers are longer range, higher damage only get one at a time. What is all this down here? Duds. This card stinks. Replace it ASAP. I guess I'll get the infantry. It's just basic. A flame turret. Buildings decay over time. That's interesting. So you can sort of build a base, but they will slowly deteriorate by the sounds of it. I think I want a battering ram though. Is that a Tesla coil? Oh no, sorry. It's a vault turret. Um, I'm always a sucker for a Tesla coil, but I think, I think I'm better off just getting mobile troops. Okie dokie. Let's review your Mark 1 mechs. They have a rifle that fires three round bursts with nine rounds in a magazine. Reloading is fully automated, so don't worry about that. Your ability is mini mines. This throws four small mines in front of you. 
Make sure to use this ability as soon as the 6 second cooldown period is finished. Your Mark 1 mech is lacking in armor, so it's important to let your armored troops move in first. Okay. I can't believe the blue army has pushed our lines back to the Riverlands. There are many river crossings in this area. The terrain is large and open, the only choke points are the bridges. The simple terrain should allow us to focus on our enemies. The enemy can come at us from two different directions. Watch them both. Maybe I should have bought some defense towers. Anyway. So what are we doing? Choosing our path. Rewards. Blue tech, new card and $5. Or yellow tech, new card and $5. Uh, I don't know what that means, but let's go yellow. It's red versus blue. What is that? It looks like one of those uh, century destroyers from Team Fortress 2. Okay, we start off with some turrets. I'm going to get straight in here, and I'm going to start plonking down some units. Here he is. Is it a sentry buster? Yeah, it kind of is, actually. Behaves just the same. Uh, I'm going to get a couple of um, these guys out here. What are they called? The Juggernauts. Or am I making that up? I actually can't remember. Anyway, it looks like we've broken through on the north side, which is good. Slowly chipping away at their command tank. Oh, should be spinning this energy, shouldn't I? Don't think it's going to matter. I think we're pretty comfortable. Blue tank number 70 destroyed. Oh, cool. We get all sorts of stats here. I use 28 energy to their 14. Okay. Which units performed best? Which ones did the most damage to buildings? So these ones, even though they're duds, they're actually the most efficient. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Uh, okay. I like that. $10 reward. So, I'm new here. It's my first day as an advisor, actually. So I'm going to read you a bit from my training manual. Tip 1. Know your troops. Hover over a card in the bottom left to read the description. That's the brawler, not the juggernaut. What was I thinking? Infantry, battering ram, only attacks buildings, that's good to know. Basic punch guy, put him in front. This card stinks, this card stinks, and so on. Think about the three W's, when, where, and why to play each of your cards. Oh, here we go. Scatter shot, a quick bullet barrage that deals low damage over a large area, or a slow missile that does high damage over a small area. I think I want the precision missile. I like the idea of that. And a tech upgrade. So this is, this is the yellow tech upgrade I assume I was rewarded with. We have range training. Increases the range of light troops by 30. Oh, and that's good. Down the bottom it highlights who that actually affects. That's good to know. So increases the range of my duds and my infantry. This improved scopes increases the range of heavy troops, which are my brawlers and... What's it? Oh, man, I'm so bad with these names. Brawlers and battering rams by 30. Increases the range of mechs. Now, I don't have any mechs. That's not going to affect anyone. Um, I don't think I need heavy troops increasing range because they're all melee. So I guess light tech. Okay. Oh, we've got some more tips up here. The brawler. Uh, brawlers and infantry are the meat and potatoes of our army. Brawlers are cheap to produce and have good armor too. So brawlers are best when they're placed in front with supporting troops behind them. They have no ranged attack, so they must get in close. Enemy mechs are nimble and ranged and will simply run away from brawlers. But you can use this to your advantage, however. If you, if you deploy brawlers past enemy mechs, you can make the mechs run deeper into our defensive towers. Okay. And duds. We are still building up our forces. Luckily, we have a surplus of these old microbots. We call these older ones duds because they're really a last resort. They require more energy to deploy than our newer microbot swarms. I recommend replacing them as soon as we can. Fair enough. They have no armor, so they're best placed behind armored troops like a brawler. Okay, so literally last resort. Um, go up this time. What is that? Looks like a robot vacuum. <laughs> All right, straight in the tank. Let's uh, get a brawler out. Let's get a brawler out. Let's back them up with some infantry and some duds. And I'll wait for some energy to come in because then I can shoot a missile. 
Ah, oh, that was a total waste. I really should have thought that through. What is that? Okay, I definitely need to get some troops up the top lane here. That literally is a robot vacuum. <laughs> it's just... Oh, dear lord. Oh, okay. It was um, unexpected. Got my dudes back, which is nice. Uh, what is that? A flame tower. I think I had the option to unlock that. Interesting. So all of a sudden the uh, difficulty has ramped up a little bit. Beautiful. Uh, uh, actually, I'm going to try and missile that again. Nice. Get some uh, troops out here. Maybe I should be on the ground myself. Maybe that's what I'm lacking. Uh, get some defenses up here. Nice. Blue tank number 18 destroyed. I wonder if the numbers are relevant. Like, if I have another playthrough, will there be another tank 18 with the same unit composition? I'm not sure. I'm going to get me one of those robot vacuums. <laughs> Interesting stuff. 160 miles to the blue border. Group 47, there's a rookie mech pilot in your area. I'm rerouting them to you to help in the next battle. I'm detecting a strange signal up ahead. Be careful. Choose a card. Attack drones. Can't be targeted by melee troops. It costs four energy though. Medic drone. Heals friendly troops over time. That's mm, potentially good. I think I need to focus on offense to start with though. Increases the range of the base by 30. Reduces the ability cooldown of mechs by 12. Oh, mechs are... I'm a mech. Right, that's why they weren't showing up down here in my cars, because I'm the mech. Increases the range of light troops by 60. That does include the drone as well. Yeah, I'm going to do that again. Uh, tips. Battering ram. This is a real powerhouse. It has the highest armor of any vehicle, besides our command tank. And the most important thing to remember is that they only target buildings. So they're great for taking out enemy towers, but they'll need support. It also carries a spear item, so make sure to use it. If I ever get out of my command tank, I will. The precision missile is the solution to all your problems. Strong enemy formation coming towards you, missile. Annoying building across the map, missile. Enemy mech running away to heal, miss. Well, you get the idea. It's an ability so it can hit anywhere on the map. It's a bit slow, so aim carefully at moving targets. Good to know. Do I want a red tech or a blue tech? Much of a much, I'll try a red. Now let's see what's going on here. We got a sniper there by the looks of it. It's interesting. I'm going to... Hey, that's one of ours. What is the blue army doing with one of our mechs? Oh, it is too. I'm not in control, it says. You can see that on the top right. Sophie, it's not me doing this. you got to believe me. Their base is remote operating my mech. Don't worry, we'll take that base out in no time. That's... All right. You get out there. I'm going to stay in here. Uh, do we have to kill this? Looks like we might. I do have a missile. I might save that. Uh, oh, some drones. Some duds. What is this? Oh, that's where my friend's going to respawn. What is this? A drop pod. Full of units. That's... Alright, I'm going to shoot that missile, I think. Get a little force going here. Maybe I do need to be out on the front lines. I don't want to hurt you. Well, stop then. Easy as. Alright, little medic drone coming. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, let's just... Uh... Oh, I don't like that. Those drop pods are cool, actually. That'd be quite useful to have. 
Oh, I can't hit those drones with my brawler because they're melee. Ah, uh, jeez, um, oh, he dodged right as I shot. Shoot some duds out just to keep him busy. Oh, long range sniper down here. Oh, he's building towers now, that's not good. Get some duds out here, just keep those guys back a little bit. Don't kill my tower. Alright, I do have a missile ready, I'm going to launch that down here. Nice. Can you... No, that's okay. More troops come in, so we've got them down to half health. Oh, the uh, controlled mech is back. Here comes another drop pod. I should be focusing up the top, shouldn't I? You get that sniper. Very good. Got a brawler out. Hmm. Slowly making progress. All well, those mines are deadly, aren't they? Thought that was the best bet to deal with that tower. Oh, that's not good. Can I hit him with a missile? Yes, I can. Uh, let's go, let's go. Okay, that's good. We've reached their command tank again. Nearly got him. Get some drones up. Okay, what's he on? 500 health. Not long left. Uh, what have we got here? A couple of brawlers. Just going to go all in up the top here. Push them back, hopefully. Got a tower. Oh, we got him. Um, nice. Get over there. Uh, I'm gonna get another brawler here just to punch these little fellas. With some backup. We've made it through again. Can I missile this guy? Or is he moving too much? No, moving too much. It's a waste. You got this. Yep, you got this. Watch out for that sniper. I'm gonna missile that. Did bugger all. Maybe I do need to get out and start fighting. Seems like uh, I need a bit of wall here. Although they've only got 100 health left, so I will wear them down eventually. Hopefully. Little missile there. Beautiful. Let's back up up here. What should I do? Should I spam with some duds? Oh, no, I can do this actually. Get these guys in there. Here comes a rocket pod. We're gonna missile that straight away. Oh, that was silly. Got one of them at least. All right, we might get this in time. Yes, we will. Remote pilot signal lost. Retrying. Safety protocols overridden. Power core activated. Still no control. I'm cut off. Look out. Be careful, Group 47. I'm getting a huge energy reading. Uh oh. Boss heat. Oh, we've got a little boss fight here going. Okay. Can't, why can't I shoot? Okay. 
Okay, this is um unexpected. <laughs> Except I half died before I could figure out why I wasn't shooting. That's not good. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right. I'll throw some more mines up. Oh, that's how I dash. That's right. Come on, come on, come on. Holy moly. So this has turned uh, bullet hell as well. How do I dash? Ah, oh. there's a cooldown on that dash. I need to work out where that's actually displayed. Nearly there. There we go. Heat level critical, shutting down. Who knew the Mark IIs had this kind of power? Okay, well that was a bit more intense. Certainly ramping up quickly. Yeah, right, these drop pods were quite useful for them. I wonder what this money goes towards. Ah, Sophie joins the party. Isn't that nice? Thank you, things have been crazy. I was glad to get a Mark II mech at first, but I didn't think I'd get stuck in it for days. So no, I didn't design it to be stolen by the Blue Army. Well, how about that? Choose a card, a barracks. Ah, it spawns infantry over time. As a mech, activate the ability to spawn two infantry immediately, or a sniper. I can pick up and drop a sniper with my mech, that's cool. I think I want a barracks though, I think that sounds pretty cool. Uh, increases the HP of light troops by 20, reduces the reload time. I think uh, HP. Oh, and we're at a shop. Dig that uh, elevator music. Repair base for 250 HP. I think I'm okay. Landing heal. Single use, use, a large repair pulsar that diffuses a cocktail of medicines into the air. Remove excess armor. Speed at the cost of HP. Are these, um, like, uh, permanent or are they, well, this one's a one-time use, I think. Common equipment. Common equipment, active protection system. Hard kill APS fires countermeasures to intercept projectiles. Okay, so if they start launching rockets at me, that'll be handy to have. A stun spike, a stationary smart launcher fires an EMP. An early warning system allows troops to abandon their vehicle moments before destruction. Spawn run rocket trooper before death. That applies to the brawlers. Okay, that could be that could be good. A mini mine layer that costs a hundred. I can't afford it. Okay, uh, what am I gonna do? I think this one's good because that just means I get a free unit every time something dies. I can reroll, oh, it costs 50, no. Equip to, oh, I have to equip it to someone. I think we'll get more use out of a brawler, to be honest. Right, I see. Equipment slots, gotcha, gotcha. I have $70 left. Uh, so if I use this on a unit, that unit will use this skill? Intelligently or randomly? I don't know. Uh, I don't want to remove armor for speed. Really? Mm. Single use. Large repair pulsar. Yeah, I don't know about that, actually. I think I will just uh, move along. This jungle. We've made it to the jungle. There is less room for our troops to move around here, but your mechs should have no problem moving through those thick trees. Enemy troops won't be able to follow you inside. Use that to your advantage. Okay. And uh, Sophie with a tip. Let me tell you about the Mark II Volt mech. 
It's quite the piece of engineering. The shock orbs can bounce between up to three enemies. This makes this mech good against groups, but not too bad against single targets either. It takes time for the gun to charge. You can see the meter below the mech. If there's not enough power, only a tiny orb is fired. These tiny orbs do almost nothing, so I don't recommend depending on them. A full charge is enough for three shots, and the ability is the best part. The Stun Spear. It's exactly what it sounds like. It stuns an enemy for a long time. It's best used against enemy mechs, in my opinion. So... I can choose that mech. I think... Oh. oh yeah, we'll stick with that. I think I'd rather have you just as a little assistant. Here we go. A Doomba. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, yep. I like that. Doomba. Uh, okay, or a Rocket Trooper. Uh, much of a muchness, isn't it? I'll just go this way. What have they got? Is that a healing rocket? They've got someone in a loader. Okie dokie, this is concerning. What is going on here? What's in the middle? I'm going to get straight in, I think, and I'm going to pump out some units down here. Yep, here's my Mark II up here. He's going in there, or she, is going in there and uh, doing some damage, which is nice. There's a big sword in the middle. You might need some backup. I don't want to build this barracks. Is that a that's a mech, isn't it? That's right, he's nearly gone. Uh, I'm just gonna pump out some troops down here. A nice little attacking force going. And shoot a rock up there. No, that was pointless. Alright, this guy I need to watch for, so. Put a brawler. Push him right back. There we go. We've reached that command tank. Which is nice. The barracks is slowly and surely spitting out units, which is good. Well, put another one up there. So we have two streams. Free unit is a good unit. Got him. Lovely, let's see. Broken through on the top. Oh, these brawlers aren't very good against this. Doesn't matter though. Very nice. Blue tank number 34 destroyed. Pretty good. Lots of money. Tip two, formations. Don't deploy your troops one at a time. Save up energy and play multiple cards in quick succession. This is called a formation. Place cards with high HP in front of the formation so they can take the hits. Place cards with low HP in the back of the formation so they can be protected. Oh, -oh, -oh flamer or a doomba. Vacuums up enemy ground troops in its path, does not attack. That just seems ridiculous, and I love it. It has an ability, Super Suck. The Doom of Vacuuming Power greatly increases for two seconds. Remove a card. So what am I replacing? I haven't really used the Battering Ram. It's too expensive. What if I just uh, swap that one out? Increase the attack of the base, increase the attack of buildings, increase the attack of light troops. Yeah, got to, got to buff these light troops, I think. Okay, tip for the Doomba. I love the Doomba, it really sucks. It doesn't attack per se, it just vacuums up enemies, up to 10. This card requires mech interaction to really be effective. Get close and interact with the Doomba to activate Super Suck. This will greatly increase its suctioning power for 2 seconds. And the more enemies inside, the more damage it does. It can't damage buildings, so I recommend using it for defense, not offense. Fair enough. And using items. Have you been using the items our troops carry? No. <laughs> I haven't left my command tank. They, they're very useful. You should try using them. Hover your cursor over a troop card in the bottom left of the screen. You'll see the item or ability that troop carries. Hold the interact button to pick up an item or activate an ability. Press the item button to use the item. Full list of controls can be seen on the pause menu. Thanks for the tip. 
Oh, this one has a hothead, which is that uh, Sentry Buster-like robot, that suicide drone. And we have an APC, which I'm guessing is going to drive in and drop units off. A Rider Mine, a Heal Missile, and a Seeker Base. That sounds a bit scary. They both sound a bit scary, actually. Seeker Base. Oh, well, let's find out. Okie dokie. Gonna get straight in here, start generating some power. Looks like we'll need some activity up the top here just to hold these guys off. Another brawler there. Very good. Oh, down the bottom now. Oh, I should have gone the Doomba. Off you go, little fella. Got him. Got him. <laughs> I love it. I have a bit of trouble with that uh, tower, but that's okay. I do want a barracks. Okay. Oh, stay still. Damn it. Give me the Doomba. Oh, he does heaps of damage. Well, Doomba's not going to make it. Is he? No. You know what? Barracks. What is that? It's a bit terrifying. Oh, jeez. They destroy a barracks. They did too. Terrible aim. What a waste of energy. Nice though. Got through. Blue tank number 50 destroyed. Money's piling up now. Tip three, mech repair. Don't let your mech get destroyed. Your mech will be quickly repaired if you enter the command tank, but only one mech can be inside the command tank at a time. So communicate with your teammates. Try saying, let me in. Choose a card. Microbot printer. Interesting. Rescue jet. Bring a friendly mech back to the command tank. Now nah, bugger that. I want a printer. Attack of light troops, attack of ability cards, attack of the base. Light troops it is again. Okay, microbot printer. These microbot printers are fun to watch. They're a lot like our barracks, just cheaper and less effective. All buildings decay over time. This one is undefended, so place them behind our towers or near our base. The quick deploy ability creates six microbots but costs some HP. Here's a tip, using the ability right before the building expires still gives six microbots. Okay. So there's a bit of timing at play. Our troops are in high spirits despite the circumstances. Our infantry are very useful in the battlefield even if they aren't the biggest thing on it. Don't deploy infantry by themselves. They work best when supported by troops like a brawler. The enemy will always target the first thing that enters their range. So place the armored troop first and then place the infantry behind them. This way infantry can be protected from enemy fire while the enemy targets our armor. Genius. All right, what have we got? Precision missile, brawler, flame turret, ball bot. Rescue jet, shock trooper, and battering ram. Hmm. Sounds a bit dangerous. All right. Another hijacked mech will rescue you. Sure, you can try, but this mech has been burning everything in sight to a crisp. No, let me in. Uh, can I suck you up with a vacuum? Please. 
Awesome. All right, here is our robot printer. Uh, we need one of these down here just to cover. Oh, that's not good. Get him, get him, get him before he gets the tower. down here. Ooh, flame troopers down there, that's pretty scary looking. Get some drones, get some infantry, get another brawler, just get a little army going down here. Try and take that out and force our way through here. Factory actually, we've got nothing on the top now. Uh, oh, I pushed the wrong button. That's good. <laughs> yeah, so these expire relatively quickly actually, so I don't know how uh, economical they are really. Boom. Uh, why is this tower so terrible? Strong button again. Like another factory up there, just keep churning out these little robots. What is that? Ah, oh, it's that ball bot thing. Alright, our mech's gotten through on the bottom. Oh, nope, he's in trouble now. He's he's done. Uh, robot. I mean, Doomba. You missed him. Oh, no you didn't. Oh, yes you did. I don't know why I keep pushing the wrong button for the factory. <laughs> oh, this is a bit scary. Through on the north side. Need some more support down here. Don't look, those rockets they keep shooting all the way across the map. Can you take him? One on one? We'll see. Try harder. Oh, here we go. Get some drones up here. Yeah, I like the idea of these that just pump out units for me. Those drones can't get too close to the tank, they just get kicked off immediately. A couple of brawlers. Get him. Ah, close. Okay, not looking too bad down the bottom there. Top is a lost cause while that tower was there though. No, oh, it's gone. That's a plus. Uh, let's go 
bang, 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 get a little uh, pressure down the bottom. We've got this, surely. Yep. Remote pilot signal lost. Autopilot online. Safety protocols overridden. So this is going to be the same thing. I think it's going to put me in a little one-on-one -on -one duel with this guy. Hazard. Maybe. Engaging targets. What is going on? I dodged. There we go. Dodge straight into it. Oh, that's awesome. Great dodging. <laughs> Stop. Leave me alone. Jesus. any meaningful damage to him. Don't like that. God damn. I feel like I'm too slow to be in a bullet hell right now. Can I break out of this? this doesn't look like it. Come and hit some mines, buddy. <laughs> well, his heat's coming down, need it. Get the pressure on. There we go. Who turned out the lights? Blue tank number 26 destroyed. Results. These missiles did uh, 900 building damage. And the flame towers, 3,000 unit damage. Holy moly. Interesting. All right, big chunk of change there. And Hazard joins the party. Finally got to see the new mech in action, but it was being used against our own guys. Red fire stands out against their blue clothes so much better. They're going to burn. Settle down, mate. Drop pod. Deploys four soldiers anywhere on the battlefield, or the hothead self-destructs next to the first enemy it contacts. I do love the idea of that. Drop pods, though, were very powerful but what do I switch out factory maybe mm. do I get these back can I swap them back out it's one thing I'm not sure like am I losing those cards or are these going back into a deck I can choose from again later Increases the speed of mechs increases the speed of heavy troops Inc reduces the dash cooldown oh that would be good actually but I think heavy troops having speed would be fantastic. And another equipment shop. Healing Aura. Okay, so I can put that on a unit and it will have a little healing area of effect. A stun spike on a building. A seeker launcher. Fires two seekers at nearby enemy mech with 75 damage. That's interesting. Stuns nearby enemies on spawn. Drop a death mine upon death for 100 damage. That's interesting. A seeker launcher fires two seekers at nearby enemy mech for 75 damage. What if I gave that to the other brawler? Give him a little ranged option. And death mine. I'm going to give it to my little infantryman here. Healing aura for the Doomba, maybe? Uh, no, I'll, I'll leave it there. Tip for the grenade mech. 
Taking a liking to my Mark II grenade launcher mech, this thing really puts on a show. The grenades don't do much damage to individual troops, but it really does a number on large groups, especially if they're bunched up. It also has this heal grenade ability. Hold the ability button to fire the heal grenade and release it to detonate it. You can use it to keep our troops healed up or use it on yourself. I don't advise you take any mechs on head to head in this mech. Focus on fighting large groups of, our, of troops and healing up our own. Passing through this desert will be dangerous. People used to live here long ago, but in modern times, the sandstorms have left it uninhabitable. When a sandstorm approaches, it'll block the road with piles of sand. Don't get caught near the enemy base during a sandstorm or you may be stuck with them. We can destroy the sand piles with our weapons and our troops can too. The sandstorms will even cover up our towers. So clear it off so they can defend us. That's an interesting mechanic. Uh, there you go. All right. I'm actually going to wrap it up there for this first look of mech tech. Uh, how long have you been? Over 50 minutes now. So it's um, it's interesting. It's quite fun. It's quite satisfying to play. And, uh, you know, all those games that I mentioned earlier, you know, your Advanced Wars and, and your Buggos and things, all the inspiration that's come together to build this is actually, um, it's actually quite a good result. Campaign's interesting, the characters are interesting, and I really like the uh, progression of the deck, the deck builder elements as well. So if you're interested in this, as I said earlier, there is a link in the description, so you can check this out on Steam, wishlist it, and check out the demo. The full game, uh, the release date is to be announced, but it is uh, in active development currently. So... Thank you again for watching. If you like this and want to see more, please consider subscribing. I do cover lots of indie games, VR games, and uh, similar games like this. So uh, if you subscribe, you'll stay in the loop when new videos drop and you'll help me out a lot. So I would appreciate that. Thank you again for watching and I will see you next time.